Hello everyone, welcome to Zaxtech. In today's tutorial, we'll be diving into the world of file synchronization with cFile. Specifically, we'll be using Docker to set up the cFile file sync server. Docker makes the installation process easy and ensures a clean and isolated environment for cFile to run it. cFile is an open source file synchronization and sharing platform designed for high reliability and performance. It provides a secure and private cloud storage solution that enables users to sync and share files, collaborate on documents, and access their data from various devices. I will install the cFile sync server on a Contabo VPS. Contabo is a hosting provider that offers virtual private server VPS hosting services among other hosting solutions. The decision to install cFile server on a virtual private server VPS or a standalone server at home depends on various factors, including your specific needs, technical capabilities, and preferences. VPS providers often offer reliable and professionally managed infrastructure, including high-speed internet connectivity, data redundancy as well as backup services. VPS environments allow for easy scalability. You can upgrade resources CPU, RAM and storage as your storage and user requirements grow. VPS hosting often includes technical support from the hosting provider, helping users troubleshoot issues and ensuring server stability. Hosting cFile on a standalone server at home provides once the initial investment in hardware is made. There are no monthly hosting fees. This can be cost-effective in the long run for users with specific hardware requirements. Ultimately, the choice between a VPS and a standalone server at home depends on your priorities, technical skills, and the specific use case for cFile. If you prioritize convenience, accessibility, and professional support, a VPS may be the better option. If you value complete control, privacy, and have the technical knowledge to manage a home server, then hosting cFile at home might be the preferred choice. Before you start ensure you have Docker installed. On Contabo installing Docker is just a matter of selecting it during server setup. You can also watch the video in the description on how to install Docker manually on Ubuntu 22.04. Let us now install cFile. Open a command line and connect to your VPS if you're not installing on your local machine. Another crucial element in this setup is Docker Compose. It's important to note that Docker Compose is a separate entity from Docker itself, so it's necessary to install Docker first before adding Docker Compose, otherwise, Compose won't operate. Run this command to install Docker Compose. Give it permissions by running this command. Create the directory where we will store our Docker Compose deployment files. Subsequently, navigate to that directory. Next, create a Docker Compose file and paste the following into the file. Once you paste the content, you have to change some parameters like the MySQL password and so on. The database password should be the same as the root password. Enter strong passwords. This is just for demonstration. We'll delete the server once I'm done with the tutorial. You can also change the time zone to your location's time zone. Just Google your country's time zone. Enter the admin email. This will also be used as the username.
Enter the admin password. This is the password you will use on the C-File web interface. You should enable Let's Encrypt if you plan to access your C-File server from the internet. You must secure the connection with an SSL certificate. We'll enable this later, but make sure to enable it right now if you are setting your server on a VPS and you must also have a domain name. And if you have enabled Let's Encrypt enter the host name of your VPS here instead of entering an IP address. I will show you later how to do this. The settings I'm showing you right now are for those who will be accessing the server locally there is no need for SSL certificate. You should add port 443 here if you have enabled Let's Encrypt. You can also change port 80 if it is already in use. Save and close the file when you are done with changing the settings. Start and run the containers using this command. The Docker images will initiate the download process. The duration of the entire procedure may vary from seconds to a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the installation is done enter the IP address of your server in a web browser. Enter the email address and password you created earlier in the Docker file. The installation has been a success. Now if you will be accessing the server over the internet you need a secure connection so enable SSL. You first need to buy a domain name. You can get a cheap one from Namecheap. The link is in the description. You need to create an a record and point it to your VPS server IP address. I will just use the mail a record I created earlier but you should name it like C file or anything you want. Like I mentioned earlier enter port 443 and enable Let's Encrypt for you to get his SSL certificate. Also enter the host name of your VPS, like you can see below the file. I entered mail the record I created in Namecheap which I pointed to the IP address of the VPS plus the domain name. All those who will be accessing the C file over the internet should have these settings before you start and run the containers. As you can see I now have an SSL certificate and my connection is now secure. Notice I'm now using the domain name instead of an IP address to access the server. Let us now try to connect a client to the C file server. Here I will connect a Windows 10 machine. C file offers desktop clients for Windows, Linux, Mac OS as well as for mobile like Android that can be downloaded from the project's website. You can download an Android client from Google Play Store or an iOS client from Apple App Store.
Enter the C-file server address and user's credentials you created earlier. I found out later that my hostname was pointing to another IP address. I needed to flush the DNS on my Windows 10 machine. Anyway, if you facing issues, you can tick the checkbox that says do not verify server certificate in HTTPS. As you can see it is now downloading files from the C-file server. Let me place some files in the C-file folder on my Windows 10 machine and see if they will sync with the server. You also have the option to install the C-File Drive client, which allows you to access server files without syncing them to a local disk. Essentially, it functions like a network drive. This works just like Dropbox or Google Drive on your local machine. I will link a video in the description on how you can update the C-File container. Congratulations! You've successfully set up the C-File file sync server using Docker. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest tutorials. Until next time, happy syncing!